Rhymebill is now online. What is up, Rhymeblers? Today we're gonna learn how to make a clickable text in HTML. As always, get that HTML file all fired up and let's get into it. You wanna start off by opening up a basic HTML tag and closing down down below. And then inside the HTML tag, you wanna open up a simple body tag and also close that. And this is where your text is going to be. So you're going to have to pay the most attention to this part. First things first, you want to open up a paragraph. This paragraph is optional. This is just the lead up to the actual link. So I want my sentence to say, what is Rainbow? So I'm just going to type in what is and then leave Rainbow for the link part. So you want to open up a tag and call it a H R E F. And this is going to be where you're going to link it to. You name this whatever you want, but you just have to remember this is going to be the link. And then a text is going to go right after this. So here is where your link text is going to be. I'm going to say Rainbow to complete my sentence. What is Rainbow? And then you want to close up your link by opening up a tag, naming it A, and then with a slash in front of it. And that is the HTML code. But we're not done yet. You gotta save it and open up to see what it looks like. Like I'm about to do. Looks pretty neat, right? Now you can see why we added that pre-intro text, the what is, so it looks kind of cool. And now if you're wondering, I don't want the underline under Rainbow, I just want to be a plain text. Well, we can fix that in CSS. Also, you can click on the text now and it works, but it's saying error because I don't have a file named yourlink.html. If you do, it should work just fine. Going back to Notepad, you want to open up a style sheet under the body tag, and then you also want to close it off down below. And this is how we're gonna change the underline. Here you wanna type in A, a semicolon, then link, and open up some curly brackets. And in here you wanna type text that's decoration, then semicolons is equal to none. And then you wanna close this off, and this is how you're gonna get rid of the underline. You could do a lot more than just taking away the underline from a text. You could change the font size, color, font text. You could do a lot of things. So go through my other videos and see what works and doesn't work. And thanks for watching. Thank you guys especially for four subscribers. This has been a great channel. This has been nice teaching you guys. Thanks for joining the Rhymebler family. Don't forget to save. And until next time, Rhymebill out.